Let's do a little sound check here, make sure everything's in place. So you can still hear me just fine. Correct? This is just interesting. Should be working fine. from a desktop. What about now? Um, 
about it. Okay, so that must mean that I need to play with it for a second. Um, this is always the fun part of streaming. It's live, so you just try to do your best. How about now? Might be a little too loud. If it is working, that is. Oh, nothing. Yeah, nothing. Try to check on my end as well. What a nightmare. What if I turn it up more? Okay, so now you can hear it. Uh, so it might be too loud, or is this is this just right? Can you hear me as well? Let me know how the balance is. So you think it's just right? It doesn't have to go down or anything? Okay, that's good to hear. Uh, hopefully it will stay this way for the time being. Um... Wow, fantastic. Okay. In that case, let me take one second to share the link to this on my social media so that I might be able to get a little bit more fans in here. Thank you for the support. Um, it is 9.30 on May 28th, 2018. Memorial Day, for those of you who have served in the armed forces, we thank you. Uh, the roommates are away, and even on a hot summer night in Arizona. We are keeping things nice and cool here, so... just wanted to try something a little different these days. Um, so we're just gonna sit here together and listen to some jazz. I have a headset here with me, but... It's actually kind of loud on my end, so 
gonna turn that down a bit. Lovely. Oh, listen to that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me. Those of you that are fans of Put It On My Bill, I, as always, I appreciate the support. Uh, this here, I don't know if you want to call it a uh, radio show, I, uh, I don't know, maybe a podcast, something. Uh, there's no routine, there's no schedule, there's no rules even. I just uh, wanted to take an opportunity to just chill, you know. Recently, uh, I was I was in a morning morning rush, getting ready to go volunteer down at my local library, which is actually a very chill you know chill thing to do with itself. But I decided, hey, let's skip the punk rock for once and try some jazz, and I did. And it just, it, it put me in a mood that, that was hard to really, uh, really describe. So, uh, since then I've been listening to it a lot more when I start my day. And just in general, whenever I need some music to listen to. Uh, some jazz, some soul, some blues, funk. You know that that entire realm. Uh, so I wanted to take an opportunity to maybe share that with whoever whoever happens to stop by. We have to check uh, the tags on this video. Maybe see if we can't get more lovely fans in. You know how much I love you guys. So, I hope that everybody is having a lovely, whatever time it was, whatever time it is, where you are. Uh, me personally, it, no, I <laughs> just said earlier that it was a little after nine in the cool evening. So, really quick, I want to want to just say that this this is uh, Rio Fukoi. I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly. He is he's a Japanese jazz artist. Uh, specifically, he plays the piano, and he is very exceptional. Uh, this is a 1976 record called Scenery. It was recommended to me thanks to the uh, classic YouTube uh, you know, recommendation system. It, a bit of a nightmare at times, but uh, you know, you have to deal with it. So, with that out of the way, um, Yeah, lots of stuff to talk about. First of all, I want to thank Mr. PJ Geeson, who is in the chat. 73 subs. 
If I could, I would, you know, I would thank each and every one of them for doing more than they will ever know. Um, Selena Johnson, I call her Cece. I thank you for your love. Right back at you. Um, and Matthew Gordon, absolute, absolute madman of a fan. Uh, asking me about the P.O. box. I know. I know. <sighs> but, we'll get there someday. We'll get a P.O. box for fan mail. We'll get a store. Uh, what, what, what else do we want? Store for merchandise. We got a website. That would be cool. Um, but, you know, these things take time. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Maybe we won't, but, you know, we probably will. We probably will. Um, <sighs> let, me, let me get my drink. I'm drinking a nice cold Coca Cola. People say it's bad for you, and it is, but it makes my voice sound nice and deep, which is good for a, uh, for a radio voice, you know, uh, do, do, some, uh, do some radio. And Peyton has joined the chat. Hello, Peyton. You have reached me time with Bill from Put It On My Bill. Thank you very much. I drink all my Baja Blast. No, I no, I am not. One left in the fridge. Saving it for a uh, rainy day. You know how that is. Um. I understand, Peyton. You guys are uh, you guys are off on your adventure. I'm happy for you, by the way. Uh, let me know how things are. <clears throat> Matthew, I know I need a donation thing too, so that I can pander money from uh, from people on the internet. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe when the day comes when you know I've reached the proper amount of fame to start a. Uh, start the merchandise and start, you know, this and that, I'll set up a, uh, a Patreon, but, uh, not today, not today. Uh, the logo that I designed for me time, uh, you can find that in the thumbnail. That's, that's where I thought to, that's where I thought to put it would look nice on the video that we have, but I I like it the way it is right now. It's nice and breathable, you know. It's a tranquil little shot of uh, San Francisco, I believe. Found it on a uh, royalty-free um, stock video website I know it lets me change it um, I could stick the logo in but right now we're gonna leave it the way it is so I don't know there's, there's lots to talk about I didn't really list any one thing but you know I have all the time in the world, at least until, you know, <laughs> there's always uh, some reason to kick me off of here. Sometimes my computer crashes, sometimes the internet crashes, sometimes, uh, well, you know, 
PJ, I'm glad you're excited to see this all grow, and I hope you have a wonderful night. Remember to listen to some jazz. If you need anything in particular, Rio Fukoi, Scenery, 1976. Uh, have a great night, and enjoy whatever life brings you. Uh, see you next time on Me Time with Bill from Put It On My Bill. Getting good at this. The uh, radio voice just gotta, uh, just gotta get the phlegm in there. Uh, CC, what do you need? I, I, I hear you calling my name in the chat. Looks like I, I've, I've gained a few view, viewers as well. I can't even talk. Uh, if you just joined, thank you very much. Uh, welcome to Me Time with Bill. My name's Bill. Uh, we're just, we're kind of sitting around and we're listening to some lovely jazz by Ryo Fukoi, uh, a Japanese jazz piano player uh, from the 1970s. I'm not entirely sure if, uh, if he's still, still making stuff. I'll find out. I'll find out. Um, Rest assured, CC, that you will be sent some jazz. Don't let me forget. You know, I have uh, I have a history with memory loss. Maybe it's a man thing. Who knows? And I appreciate your support regarding my radio voice. Um. Oh goodness gracious! I'm trying to find you know a good spot to lie without messing with my microphone. Just make some adjustments here. Oh man. There we go. Is everyone still able to hear me okay? I've got my legs propped up on the desk. And you know Uh, I would like to apologize about my loud computer maybe taking you out of the atmosphere a bit. Uh, but, you know, maybe someone can send me a brand new fan for $200 or however much they go these days. I don't know. I'm not really a, not really a money person. So, um, goodness gracious, this is some lovely jazz. Sorry about that. I, uh, I got a little distracted by the lovely music that is playing. <clears throat> you know, uh, I'm at that age. I'm, uh, I'm going to be 21 um, in about a month now. Matter of fact, it's it's exactly a month, I think. Uh, so you know, I'm I'm getting to the point where. Um, Gotta pick a street, as they say. You know, I I go to college every now and again. You know, I take one semester off, one semester on. Uh, never a full time student with a full time workload, but uh, you know, so far I've gotten by. But a lot of the time I wonder, uh, you know, what am I doing? What am I, what do I want? And, you know, most of the time I don't really know the answer to that. <laughs> uh, sometimes I think uh, filmmaking, you know, I make these videos, I love them, you know, I love, uh, I love 
you know, having these jokes and ideas and stories in my head and, you know, taking all the parts and putting it all together, you know. It's, it's like being a chef. You, know, you, 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 you have the ingredients for a lovely, uh, you know, stew. And uh, you get to put it together. It's, it's a real pleasure. But it's a saturated market these days. You know what I mean? Lots of, uh, lots of lovely folks on the internet. But there's a lot of phonies, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of clickbaiters. Never fun. You know, I'm not, not a huge fan of people who kind of make, make whatever content they want for the money as opposed to, uh, you know, for the fun or for the satisfaction or, or you know um, being able to make, <clears throat> to make something that you want people to see you know and you think people want to see uh, the reason I do it I, I, I don't know I enjoy it um, yeah, I suppose that's it. I enjoy it a lot. But, you know, sometimes I wonder, um, what am I doing? You know, who am I? What the hell am I doing? Um, get a real job. Um, you know. Become a salesman. Or, you know, a, uh, a something, you know, something standard that you can lean on when you grow older and you want to start a family, you know, you can't start a family if you don't, you don't have a a steady flow of income and you know the means to keep them prospering you can <laughs> many people do but if if you want to be a good family man you need to uh, you need to be ready for that uh, sometimes you are sometimes you aren't I tend to lose my train of thought often. You'll have to, uh, excuse me. But, um, you know, what I realize is that this is a crazy, uh, crazy, uh, moment in my life. You know, being, uh, being this old and being at kind of a uh, a four-way street, you know, and you have to. Uh, it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. Um, you know, uh, you see the older people in your life, be it you know a mentor or your family. Or like, you know, an old uh, school teacher, and you know, you see them all the time, and every time it's same question and the same answer. Uh, what have you been up to? Oh, you know, just uh, I don't really know. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's 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 hard to come up with an answer that doesn't sound weak or uh, you know phony, fraudulent, um, but I'm not, I'm not in a rush, you know, I never have been, um, maybe once a year, maybe once a few times a year, 
if I'm being honest with myself, I'll go through this, uh, this conundrum, if you will. This, uh, mental breakdown, call it a phase, call it a crisis. I suppose crisis would be the best word. Um, where I think that I'm a different person than I really am. You know, I, I start acting like a different person. Uh, sometimes it can be dangerous for you, you know. But it's always a learning experience, that's what I come to find. Uh, the good things teach you stuff, but the bad things, the bad things in life teach you a lot. Uh, and because of that, you almost want the bad things to happen so that you can learn more about you know what you're meant for and who you are as a person but um it's you know what is it to say about life that hasn't already been said i don't know I don't know if I'm saying it. <laughs> um, all I know is, uh, you just gotta live for you. You know, short term, long term, that's up to you. It's all up to you. It's no one's life but yours what you do in it, how you act, that sort of thing, and that's all you, man, and I think that's the beauty of it, life is a, uh, it's a liberating, liberating feeling to be alive, and, you know, uh, the sociologists out there can say things like, well, it's not like this in, <laughs> in all the countries, and I agree. Um, you know, you don't have the same choices in many countries. So while we should maybe try to change that, we should also make the most of things. You know, if you enjoy... Uh, chocolate milkshakes, don't go on a diet, you know, um, but if you want to go on a diet, do, um, if you enjoy, you know, I, I think you get what I'm saying, uh, some people are kind of the wild lifestyle people, you know, they enjoy debauchery, they enjoy drinking and doing drugs and kind of going wild with their lives, you know. If they genuinely kind of like it, they can do it, you know. More power to them as long as they're being safe and not being harm to the people around them, then I'm all for it, you know? If you enjoy jazz, and sitting at your computer screen, and speaking to two people uh, over the internet, um, you can do what I do. Uh, be an introspective bill making Matthew Gordon rethink his life. Uh, you know. I've just received another message on Facebook from another friend of mine uh, saying that he's enjoying it. I don't know if he messaged me via, via Facebook to kind of remain, you know, a silent participant, but thank you very much 
for your support, my dear friends. And I hope that... Ooh. Sorry, I just, uh, just got caught up in the jazz. Once again, we are listening to Real... I, I'm sorry, I'm not Japanese, I'm bad at this. Rio Fukoi on his album Scenery from 1976. Uh, as a matter of fact, this track that has just begun is Scenery. This is a sad one. <clears throat> I find that uh, music is able to do magical things to people. You know, it it can speak to you in a way that nothing else really can. Um, Oh man, I need to I need to breathe for a second, excuse me. <laughs> you know, um speaking about this thing helps. You know, speaking about anything helps, whether or not you know, there's three people listening or three hundred. Keep your head up, you know. I think that's the key to it all. It's finding a way to uh, just make it through, you know. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's really easy. Um, and I think that's it. I think we stick through the hard times. Because the good times are so good. It's a beautiful thing, you know. <sighs> let me, uh, let me get another drink here. Matthew Gordon, my dear friends, he asks, when I'm not listening to jazz, who and what am I listening to? Uh, firstly, I want to address Cece talking about her lovely dog falling asleep on her laptop. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to address that. Didn't want to. Didn't want to make you feel as though I was trying to you know, ignore your message. Uh, Matthew, I listen to a lot of stuff. Uh, jazz is kind of a new thing for me. You know, uh, maybe it's a phase, I don't know yet. I tend to go through a lot of phases. Um, generally speaking, I was raised by a lot of uh, classic rock. Um, some of my favorite bands are The Doors, um, The Who, uh, you know, Bob Seger. Uh, but through time, you know, I've listened to a lot of stuff, you know. Um, the first couple of CDs that I bought when I was a kid, with my parents' money, obviously, uh, was 
Move Along by the All American Rejects, which is, uh, you know, it's it's a real period piece, you know, uh, the cheesy kind of a, I don't know what you would call that, but like a pop rock, I wouldn't really call it punk, uh, and my favorite album of all time, American Idiot by Green Day, fantastic album, uh, the whole rant that I went on. Um, you know, just a few moments ago. That album kind of spoke to it. You know, a youthful kind of wanderlust, I suppose. Just just not knowing who you are. So that concludes Ryu Fukui's, uh scenery album from 1976 and now we moved on to uh, my favorite tune from 1995 same artist Rio Fukui Stream died? Did it die for both of you? Is it I'm sorry. We all back up now? We all good? <sighs> Got me all stressed out. I'm supposed to be relaxed here. <laughs> so it's back. We're all good. Everybody's fine. Okay, okay. Thank you for letting me know. Strange that the stream would die right as uh, we're changing jazz albums. So again, uh, we moved. We moved on from 1976 to 1995. Uh, same artist, Rio Fukui. This album is called My Favorite Tune. And as you can hear, it's very similar with uh, the jazz piano. Love it. Something's really tranquil about piano jazz. Saxophone is also, you know, a huge delight, but right now we're sticking with. Uh, jazz um, music so you know while growing older I kind of listened to a lot of uh, a lot of different stuff through the time at one point I was a huge fan of the Jonas Brothers <laughs> of all things and I st you know, I still blast them every now and again, I'm not going to lie. Um, you missed while I was talking about American Idiot. I wouldn't call it a speech, but, uh, you know, that album really speaks to uh, the kind of youthful sense of not knowing who you are or where you're going or what you want, you know, the feeling of being a, being, um, trapped, I suppose, so it really spoke to me in that aspect, so, that's why it's my favorite musical album, so as I grew older, I kind of, Kind of shifted through a lot of stuff. Um, Vaporwave, obviously I love. Uh, I kind of use a lot of that in uh, 
Yes, Matthew. The futility of the American dream. Uh, there's a lot of political commentary within that album. Fantastic. Uh, um, so as you can tell by kind of uh, the VHS style that this video uh, this video is in, and also just watching a lot of my videos, you can tell that I'm a big fan of vaporwave and other such. Um, you know, aesthetic uh, styles and music, future funk, um, you know, just a lot of, you know, a lot of unique sounds that try to invoke a particular uh, sense and emotion. White Woods is, is a fantastic musical artist who I found on Bandcamp. That's usually where I find most of my stuff. Um, St. Pepsi, obviously, Macintosh Plus, uh, small time stuff. Uh, River Wave was the name of an artist who I really liked. Not sure if they still make stuff, but I really liked uh, some of their music. And then I kind of went that uh, kind of a gangster rap <laughs> phase, honestly. Like a lot of 90s stuff, the NWA, um, you know. Um, I'm kind of losing my train of thought. Dre, Biggie, um, you know, uh, that, that, that kind of realm. And then I went through kind of a punk phase. Uh, I like the Ramones. Um, the, uh, what are they called? The, oh man, Distillers, the Distillers, um, I like the Kinks, um, the Clash is really good, I like a lot of modern, uh, kind of, oh, Matthew's asking me case to rap questions, uh, no, not really much of those guys, uh, more of like the West Coast in the 1990s, uh, like some Tupac, some Ice Cube, more of that scene, um, I like some punk, I like, I like the alternative rock, kind of, yeah, CC said it best, don't forget your indie rock phase, <laughs> yeah, try not to talk down to me, CC, <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, of course, <sighs> yeah, I went through a little bit of that, um, Mac DeMarco is fantastic. I love him. Dude York. They're kind of obscure. Bright Eyes. Um, oh, God. Um, Courtney Barnett. She actually just released a new album. I uh, still have to listen to it, but I love her voice. Uh, she's really talented. I like the Shags. Um, I kind of skipped over some of the classic rock stuff too. 
I like the Electric Light Orchestra. I love them. I listen to them a lot these days. Um, Weezer. I love Weezer. Nirvana. You know, I'm all over the place. Uh, what about the Shins? You know, I feel like I have heard of them. Uh, but I can't, I can't picture, I can't hear, you know, them uh, just by reading the name. I'll have to go and listen to their music. Um, oh boy. Feels like I have to sneeze, but it's not going to come out, you know. Um, so if you guys would excuse me for just a moment, I am going to turn on my air conditioning because it is very hot in here. I did say at the beginning that, um, what did I say? I had a cool line where I said, uh, maybe a hot summer night in Arizona, but we're gonna keep things cool. Uh, but as you can tell, I've lost kind of my jazz voice, my radio voice, because <laughs> it's hot. And so my mouth is getting dry and I'm sweating a lot. Uh, so if you'll excuse me, one moment, I'll leave you with uh, Rio Fukoi, my favorite tune, 1995. Uh, let's see if I can find the song. Uh, there are no timestamps. Oh, wait. You are listening to Mellow Dream by Rio Fukoi. So please enjoy that. You know, have your own mellow dream and I will be with you shortly. Thank you very much. I am back. I hope the air conditioning has not made things a little too loud in here. If they have, please let me know and I will do my best to uh, remedy that situation. Um, we're getting close to an hour and I think an hour is when I'm going to want to wrap it up. But I'm having so much fun. You know, I'm one of those uh, high-functioning uh, psychopaths, so I love to <laughs> love to listen to myself talk. <laughs> um, we'll see what happens. Um, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I bumped the desk. Hope things are still good for the two of you who have uh, stuck around this far. Uh, my two biggest fans. Uh, <laughs> really, there's a um, there's a story that I don't think very many people uh, really like to talk about, and that is uh, this um, phenomenon of uh, life being really boring. You know, 
I don't think that a lot of people talk about the stories that don't have a story, if that makes any sense. You know, when you watch a TV show or you watch a movie, you're watching a story, you're watching something happen. Um, but most of life, I feel like, is kind of lacking in this regard. <laughs> most of life is actually uh, quite boring. Um, and that's kind of something that I've always wanted to share. Uh, you know, I have. Oh. Uh, let me know in the chat if everything's okay. Looks like uh, the frame rate's dropping a bit. That shouldn't be an issue, but. You know, you guys will let me know. Uh, let me know if anything happens. Um. Uh, stream that again. Great. Reads fine on my end as well. CC, what about you? Is it tired for you as well? And if it comes back up, will you also let me know? Might be an indication that we need to wrap things up. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. back. Huh. JK? Ah, great. <laughs> well, that might be it. Ah, okay. We're, <laughs> we're back. Alright. We're, we're about, we're about two an hour, so I think, uh, we may wrap things up. Um, perhaps continue this discussion next time um, what I, I let me get a little bit of a uh, viewer feedback um, how did this go what kind of topics do you think we can talk about um, for next time yeah I know it's back I know it's back right now. The comedy? Oh, right. Um, but we could save that for next time. Because again, I don't know if the stream's going to keep, you know, messing around with me. And, and we are at one hour. But I suppose I could finish talking about that because... You know, when's the next time we're going to be doing this? I don't know. Um, you know, th there's, there's always been some kind of part of me, the, uh, the filmmaking part, that wanted to put on kind of a series similar to uh, Louie. Show that Louis C.K. had produced, and I know, I, uh, yeah, Louis C.K. did stuff. I know. I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about the show that he had because uh, that show was um, fantastic. Very, uh, very smart. Very human. You know real, relatable, something that we could all kind of uh, relate to. Um, made you think, you know, kind of helped you 
feel and helps you uh, helps you work through some things you know some emotions some thoughts I've always wanted to kind of do something similar um, kind of tell a story that we can all relate to you know not Not a super boring story, you know, not a story where literally nothing happens, but, uh, but a story where not a lot happens. Um, a story you know, of real people who feel real things, you know, a character story. I always think that's, that's the best part of any story. Um, so there's a part of me that's always kind of wanted to, to do something similar similar to that. We all have dreams. Um, I think we're gonna wrap it up today. Uh, really quick, if you guys are still there, um, what kind of topics should I bring up in future broadcasts? Um, is there any kind of specific jazz types that you would want me to kind of pull out? Uh, some New York style stuff, uh, some saxophone, maybe something happier, maybe something more sad, slow. Um, and also what kind of tips do you have for me for future broadcasts as your charismatic host? Maybe the chat's lagging for you guys because you guys are just kind of saying nice things about the broadcast. And I appreciate that. I truly appreciate that. You guys are too nice to me. say the spontaneous flow you had was just right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, if you do come up with anything, you can always toss it to me while I'm live, and I can address it. Uh, the frames are dropping again. Really hope the chat doesn't die. Uh, CC tells me that I should try some sex. I think I think I'll start searching for some jazz that incorporates some saxophone. That's always good. I I love saxophone. I truly do. Um, maybe prep a few points. I want different perspectives inside on. Yeah, maybe. Once again, this is less of a talk show and more of a radio show, at least until I have the technology to, uh, <laughs> you know, maybe have, you know, live guests, but we're not there yet. <laughs> um... Well, I, I, I want to get there someday. I've always wanted kind of a talk show type thing, too. Uh, kind of a live camera thing, like a handheld camera. Kind of a, uh, like, like a cow chop type deal, if you know those guys. Um, they have kind of a podcast 
slash uh, like a talk show with like a handheld kind of um, like live camera feed. And I really like that style of cinematography. So we'll we'll see. I do enjoy talking to you guys. I love it. Um, what's what's the point in doing this if I'm doing it, you know, totally alone for me? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I feel like I say that a lot. Um, 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 I think, I think that's it for tonight, guys. I don't want to leave, you know, that's why I haven't left yet. I don't want to leave you guys. Matthew, my dear friends, um, you can get in contact with me. You know, there's a Facebook page. I think you know of it by now, I would hope. Um, you seem like a really cool guy. And the only time I get to talk to you is when I do these live things. Uh, so please. Please, uh, hit up the Facebook page one of these times. I, I, I kind of stammered, <laughs> stammered through that. Hit up the Facebook page one of these times. Uh, there's also a Twitter, if you don't have a Facebook, but you have a Twitter for some reason. Just get in, get in contact with me, because you're, you're a good fan, and you're a good friend. I already talk to Cece all the time, so <laughs> she, uh, she, she knows how to get in touch with me. She doesn't need, she doesn't need me to encourage her. <laughs> um, I suppose I'll wait until the end of this track. That'd be a nice way to kind of wrap things up. Looks like we got about 30 seconds left. So, guys, it's it's been a pleasure. Maybe this thing will grow into something bigger. Maybe not. But I enjoy it. You know, I enjoy... Uh, this. I enjoy the jazz, I enjoy the people, I enjoy talking to myself. <laughs> so, um, it's been about an hour. Uh, it is 10.32 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, I think. Uh, and it's been an absolute pleasure talking to all of you. Those of you that stopped in to say hi, those of you that have been here the whole way through. Um, I love you guys. Stay tuned for next time. I'm not sure when there will be a next time. I might do a poll or something. Uh, see what days and times are, are best for people. I like I like the night hours. I think that's kind of good for for a chill session. Um, thank you so much for joining me, my friends. Until next time. With love. This is your host, Bill, from Put It On My Bill. And this has been Me Time.